Hi Rasslers, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're fabulous. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your own Etsy store and just in general to give you top tips of how to make it fabulous and stand out from the rest. And as well just show you step by step how to upload stuff and just put all your whatever you want to sell onto there for example like your artwork and things. Because I just started up my own site, well, I'll put a link in the description box that you can go and check out. And I was just surprised how easy it was to set it all up. And it only cost like 20p. So, it just is worth doing. Because you can do like drop down box of different sizes and different imagery that you want to put onto your shop. So, it doesn't matter. Like, you don't have to upload each image for each 20p if that makes sense you can do it as a whole big one if you've got like sample for example my zodiac signs i have different zodiacs signs like for example capricorn gemini aries libra and with these you can do a drop down box for each one you don't have to put a new image up each time if you haven't joined my restless family yet do so by clicking a little subscribe button and join the rest of the family and click that little bell also so you'll be notified each time I upload a new video you'll be told. So yeah I'm going to do a step by step showing you guys how to make your own Etsy website and upload your stuff and make it fabulous. I am on there like I say so once you've done it maybe add me and I can go and check out your stuff as well so it's Razzle Dazzle and Art and like I say my description will have my link to my Etsy store as well. So this is my Razzle Dazzle Them R Epsi store. Like I say with all these kind of videos I'm going to run through how you would make it. But if there's any questions that you want to ask do put in the comment box because I'm going to run through it quite quickly and just show you how to get started and sell your fabulous work online. So hopefully someone will buy it and then you can make some monies. And it's a really cool way to because you can like other people's artwork as well. And you can like their shops and you can like chat to them and it's a cool little community so if you're not on Epsi already i would suggest go and check it out because like i say it's a cool area like community and it's very high in the rankings of people selling stuff on there so this is my first page as you can see i'm going to add some more stuff at a later date of different collections but I'll go back to that in a minute. This is it from a viewer's point of view. I'll show you like the background how you do everything as well. And this is just like me and my workspace and a little bit talking about a background on how I got into art and what kind of art I'm into and all that jazz and what I used to be like at school and it's all art based and I went to Bournemouth University but it's just like a little bit background story on the artist because sometimes people want to know your past and your things that you've done and your art background. I mean I might do even a, a deeper video when I talk more in depth on this but as well of course I do have dyslexia and stuff so I think that it has made me want to make more art stuff because it's how I can express myself I guess and it, you can link your Instagram and Facebook to your FC store as well and of course like you can see they support all different methods of payment so it's really cool as well so yeah if we go back to the canvases because my website I've just literally at the moment I might change later on I sell my art canvases on here I've kept it to one area just because it's a lot more easier to look after and keep up to date with what's going on so you click on the canvas and as you can see like I was saying it cost 20p to put up a thing that you want to sell within this area you can choose different images of the artwork so then people can see all the categories like for this I've got iconic places buildings and people and it's on canvas as you can see these are just examples of what kind of stuff I do and then you can do a drop down box to size and then it's got how much each size would be and then also you've got options so when you click on it it takes you to which one you would be buying because you want the customer to be able to see 
what will they be buying, then it says how long it would take, and delivery is £5. So once someone buys something, they will tell you that someone's brought your product and you need to send it to them. I'll just show you my other ones as well. These are my Zodiac canvas collections as well. So I've got all my Zodiac different signs, star signs. So then you're able to choose the one you want and then the size. And then obviously you can just go add to basket and then go straight to the basket and then you can pay for it. And then it'll tell you how much it is and then per optional note if it's for someone's, I don't know, someone's birthday or something it might be that I can write a little note for them or something to make it more personal. And then it'll let you know that you need to send it off to them. And then they'll get some lovely art from Razzle Dazzle Mart in the post. Right, so let's get back to behind the scenes of my stuff. So to set up your own shop, you would actually say sign in and then you'd register. You can register through your Google, Facebook, or with Apple. Or you literally can have your own email address like with my interest doesn't art because I feel you should have like a business email and then you just literally make up one and then put all your details in and then you have your own shop set up. So then let's go all your settings down here of what you can click on. So there's a lot of different things. So it's got your listings so if you want to list a new item in your shop you literally would click on listings and then you'd add a new listing. And then you add all your photos like I have done for my art stuff. I'll show you, this is just an example page of how you do it. I'll show you how I've done it. So for this one, as you can see, like I just said, you would put your title. You can see it's active, so it is available for people to buy. And I put all my different canvases on display, what people are able to buy for the Zodiac collection. Also, a thumbnail of which one will attract people more. And I have included a video because I do say videos attract more people. So I've literally shown what my art looks like. I have put Razzle Dazzle still over them because I um, still think if someone uses this imagery and stuff then it's still got your name over it. And as well the site does do a watermark over your images in case someone tries to use your image and the quality that they can download it at is not a high quality anyway. So that's a really cool interesting fact because sometimes I do worry about this. And it says even here, quick note, Etsy buyers will see your videos in experiment that they kind of need bunning. So that's cool. So your stuff will get more out there. So you can see here, you have to say what it's called. Who made this art piece? Is it a finished piece? And when did you make it? What category is it in? Like, so obviously with this, it's a art piece. So it's wall hanging and yeah, you just add what you want to add. Of course, it's all different colours, but some people do have, it is actually one colour. And then you can select what area category, so this is optional, what it fits into. So then you can click which area it is, and then what room that it fit best into. And what style of art it is, so mine have put contemporary, and it is unframed because it is a canvas. Then you can put the height if it is just one piece, but for example, this canvas that I'm selling are different images on the canvas and there are lots of options that you can choose from. And if it's a certain occasion and things like that, you can add to. Oh, this is what I was saying, it costs 20p and as well, each month they redo it for you. I've just said I'll do it myself just because I like to know what's going on. 
and you can say if it's a digital piece or a physical piece so with mine it's physical again and then you just say the name and as well in my description I have said um what imagery would you love and what size due to obviously the photos just for example so it's just to remind people that you do need to click down on the click down boxes to choose what size and what image you want to pick basically and this is for the variations bit so in before I did this it comes with edit variations and you can add yeah you add your own variations so with mine I've already added style so each like I said my star signs I couldn't put them all in because there wasn't enough space but I just chose the ones I thought were more popular probably and then as well as the sizes with the sizes of course the price is going to change to so make sure you click this box as well and what's a really cool thing as well with this, you can link photos. So when a person clicks on the imagery, they can see exactly what they're going to get with the photo next to the option. And you can do this the same with the sizes as well. If you want to show a size of what it looks like on the wall as well, you're able to do this. And delivery options. So I've just said it's for the UK at the moment, just due to I find that's easier. And how long it would take to get there and who it's with and the price uh, and if they want to buy another how much it's going to be I'd say do it a bit cheaper because of course then people might want to buy more of your product but as time goes on I'm sure with this the same as everyone else it's a learning curve like there's always stuff you're going to learn and find out new tips and stuff isn't there Exactly the same with this one as well. I've got all my stuff. This one I haven't done a video for yet, but exactly the same. But it's really, really simple to do, and I was shocked how simple it is to actually make a site and put it together and make it look really cool. Because sometimes you think, when people say, oh, it's so easy to do, and you're like, is it really? But uh, yeah, definitely do it if you want to get out there and try and sell some of your art stuff. If you are on Etsy, do give me a follow um, and check out my stuff and let me know what you think about it all. And I'll go and check your stuff out too. If there's any other questions, I think I've covered everything about this. But if there's any other questions, do let me know and put in the comment box and I'll try and answer them. And if you want me to do another video on this kind of stuff, do let me know as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching that. And do let me know if you enjoyed it by giving it a huge thumbs up because I know that you have. If there's anything else you want me to do a step-by-step -step tutorial on, do put in the comment box and let me know what kind of stuff you want me to teach you or tell you about because there's loads of arty things that I do and stuff. If you haven't already joined my Razzlers family, do so now by clicking a little subscribe button because then you'll be part of my family on my online community and then click the little bell to be notified of all my jazz hand videos that I upload and by doing this each time I upload a new video you'll be told and you can go and watch it straight away remember to check out all my other social medias as for example Facebook is Razzlesmart and Instagram is exactly the same so Razzlesmart as well because then you'll be on top of all the new stuff that I'm updating and stuff and it's always cool if you're an artist as well to see what kind of stuff you get up to because I always like to interact with people and see what you guys are up to and all of that jazz and see you guys later and keep crafty and creative